Welcome to the library. We're gonna start off really, really creepy and crawly though in my show. In fact, my first couple of creepy crawly guys are the only ones who do not take a bath. Like the rest of them, right? Uh-oh. We're starting off with Slate. And he's definitely cool. He's way over here in his car seat. Let me see, oh man. Open and open and come on up here, dude. Slate comes from Africa. He's actually pretty nice to see. But looking at is a good way to leave it be. Oh man, oh man, if you see one of his cousins on the ground, you might think twice before you try to pick that guy up because, ouch, this guy, he has major pinchers in the front to help him grab onto his food, but it's the stinger right there at the end that can be a little bit more dangerous there. Ooh, this guy is a... A scorpion, for sure, he's pretty nice. This is a flat rock scorpion from Mozambique in Southern Africa. And well, I kinda like these guys. You know what, they like to hide amongst the cracks and crevices. They'll squeeze right in, as you can see. Dude, he's really, really nice and flat. Helps him squeeze almost anywhere he has to be. When it's time to come on out and cruise and look for things to gobble up, whoa, he has those pinchers ready. He has hairs on his body that can help him feel on the ground for stuff that's moving by. He can feel the vibrations and get something good to eat sometimes. And yes, if he has to, he can give a poke, it's true. Now I get stung once or twice a month with one of my scorpions. It happens sometimes, ooh. He's definitely cool. This guy is not for touching because he's a scorpion, dude. I mean, ooh, even though he's pretty nice, his stinger whip is right there at the end. I know, it's a little bit of a poke, but you know what? He's not gonna try to eat us, so we should be all right. That was Slate, my flat rock scorpion. Dude, you were pretty nice. Let's give that guy a wave. A scorpion wave. Time to hit the road, my friend. He has some cousins coming out who are also pretty great. Here comes his cousin. This is Tonka. Oh man, oh man. And he's a little bigger too. Tonka is an emperor scorpion and he's really, really nice. And whoa, he likes eating lots of bugs. Other creepy crawly guys, similar to Slate. He has those pinchers in the front. His stinger's just a little bit bigger. Check him out and hey, he's more likely to give a poke. It happens sometimes that way. This guy is also pretty great. I love all these creepy crawly creatures and they're really nice, but you know what? They do feel kind of interesting on the exoskeleton sometimes. They're kind of smooth and not so slimy, not at all, in fact. Uh-oh, here comes Betty and Betty and Buddy and Buddy and Betty and Buddy and Pepper. These guys are my cockroach cousins, and they're definitely cool. Whoa, yeah, that's Pepper there. He took a leap and landed on my leg, I know. We have Betty and Buddy and Buddy and Betty and these guys, they're way nice. They're the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They go, tss. they hiss sometimes. But the peppered cockroach here, he's definitely cool. He likes hanging out right in the leaves, on the bark in the trees. He eats that stuff usually. Are you guys ready, please? Have your fingers open. We'll have a creepy crawly guy sit right there on your hands. Oh man, oh man, he's cool. There goes, whoa. He was sitting there pretty good. Keep those fingers nice and steady for that dude. That's Betty. She's doing an excellent job holding on to those cockroach cousins there today. Uh-oh. This spot, you know. Yeah, Pepper's cruising there. Cockroaches, they look great, they feel smooth, and they're also quite delicious. Well, as long as you eat bugs, they probably would be too. Personally, I really like these guys as my pets. They're really pretty neat. Dude, those are cockroaches and they're really awesome. It's time for them to say, see you later, dude, because, well, I have more creatures in my show, and my next cool creepy crawly guys might think that those cockroaches look like lunch, and well, that wouldn't be so nice for them at least, right? So we're going to let these guys hit the road and bring out someone else who's kind of cool. It's time for my amphibians. Now, amphibians are interesting animals, too. Amphibians start their life off in the water, where they swim and eat and grow. But when these guys get big enough, watch out. They sometimes grow their arms and legs and climb anywhere they want to go. Some can hop way up in the branches. I can feel them there, it's okay. Some kind of burn in the mud, oh geez. And of course, they often make a noise, they go. A frog in my 
Mine's wrong. Sorry, the translation is way better. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It's time to meet some frogs. Oh, wow. Some rain. Cool. Some rain for your fingers, too. Good job there, dudes. Ooh, here come our cool froggy friends. These guys are my white tree frogs. Oh, man, they love it when it rains. They like to hang out on our branches. Check out that kind of smiley face there, dude. We'll have them sit right there. That's okay with you. There goes Squirt for your fingertips. How's he feel there, my friend? I know. His hands are really nice. Those little suction pads help him get a grip there really well, all right. And there goes Spring. Now, of course, these guys have suction pads on their fingers and their toes. It helps them get a grip. Because these guys love to climb up in the trees. They're tree frogs here, I know. The white tree frogs, they'll eat almost anything that moves. Frogs are carnivores, so, oh man. Bugs and worms, he's wiggling on you, dude. It's okay. Let him go. He'll climb right on your arm. That's where they want to be, you know. But these guys just cruise and wiggle all the best they can. Oh, wow. These guys, they'll eat bugs and worms, small mice, even other frogs. Could be lunch for a frog if they were hungry and it fit into their mouth. Watch out. These guys, they are great. And of course, he's climbing right on you, dude. He's looking at your friends out there. He's saying, whoa. Yep, there's his friends out there. Pretty excellent being a tree there, guys, I know. I want to get these frogs a little closer so we can have a better chance to see them carefully. Oh, wow. Please. Mostly looking is the best thing because frogs have delicate skin, and there's a lot of us. Oh, geez. Great job holding carefully there, buddy. Can he sit there for you, buddy? Good job letting him sit there so nice and calmly. Check him out. How's he feel on his skin? Dude, and here goes Lenore. Put your hands up nice and flat. She'll sit there too. If your hands are nice and flat, she'll sit right there on your fingertips. Whoa. Pretty nice. I really like these awesome geckos. Great job holding here, all right. I like these awesome creepy crawly guys. Their back feels like goosebumps. But you know, a wiggle from his tail looks like his head, and if they take a bite, they'll grab that side instead. Uh-oh. He'll let his tail go, but he'll still survive because dude will have his head, his body, and his legs, and he'll grow a brand new tail eventually, which is pretty great. Hey, give this guy a gentle touch right there. I love the scaly skin. Really, really nice there. Wow. Good job, guys. Checking out those lizard friends. You guys can take your seats. That was excellent hanging out. The geckos, they make all those awesome noises, which is cool. They're probably trying to say, hey, dude, we want more bugs in here. Bring them on over. On this spot, the dragon, he's going to hang out really nice. He does not breathe fire, but he has dragon claws. So I'm going to give you guys some leaves to give your muscles safer from this guy. Here's a nice set of leaves. Works out pretty great. He'll sit right there. Here comes little Siggy. Siggy is a Chinese water dragon. And dude, you're looking at me, not them. Turn around there, buddy. There we go. Now when he's hanging out, be nice and gentle here, my friend. Let him just sit and get a chance to see what he's hoping he can actually blend in really nice. You know, up in the branches and the leaves, he would disappear quite easily because dude, He's green, just like those leaves. We call that camouflage when he hides so well, and ooh, sometimes he likes to jump or hop, and so he has his leash. Because no doubt, if he decided to run around the room, I'd rather not chase him everywhere. Oh, wow. This guy, he's still in training, but he's doing really, really great. He knows that mostly hanging out is the best way to go. Now, of course, if someone beer were to come too close, he'd sit really, really still and hide quite easily. If he had to use his tail and give a whack, it works out well. But usually, he may just find some place good to go. In fact, he may climb way up in the branches. Check it out sometimes. Oh, man, my friends. This guy makes the best green mohawk. Oh, man, he looks excellent, doesn't he? Oh, you don't want to wash your hair, I understand. That's okay. He'll just sit there then. Of course, when this guy comes closer, he will be all right for a gentle touch right on his skin. Please, touch him gently, guys. You can also feel on his spikes really carefully there, dude. Those spikes look extra sharp, you know. They're not that dangerous. They're about as sharp as your toothbrush bristles. Whoa. And of course, we never poke any animals right there on their eyes or nose or in their mouth. Because, hey, that's their face. Give that area a little bit of space. If you stick your finger in, it may not come back out again. It's a good idea to always give these guys a little bit of respect and touch them gently on their bodies. Whoa. And their face is their own area, I know. I like that guy, although he doesn't like the way we taste, but hey, it's not worth a try. Thank you very much, gentlemen. That was excellent holding on that guy. Because he's a macho dude. He's trying to show off with the other girl dragons out there. It may work. 
That's right. Here comes her brother Jake and her brother Elwood too. You know, these guys do not sing or dance. They just mostly sit there and hang out. Uh-oh. We'll have Jake sit on that side there. They have a what? A blue tongue, which is great. In fact, these guys are really neat. Their bright blue tongue can help them save their life because actually bright colors can mean danger, venom, poison, or watch out in my friends. And feel their skin also. Oh man, oh man, they feel like corn on the cob. They're pretty great. They can use that tongue to help them save their life and protect themselves because hey, bright colors often do mean venom, poison, or danger. When these guys are hanging out, if someone comes too close, they might open up their mouth and let their tongue start wiggling and no doubt that wiggling bright blue tongue says, watch out, I am dangerous, which is definitely cool. I like how these guys feel on their awesome skin there too. It gives them time to run away and hide. They'll blend in with the dirt and leaves. Good job there dudes. Uh oh. Is he looking at you? I know it. Taliqua skinkoides, the blue tongue skink. They're actually lizards though because these guys they have arms and legs, eyelids and ears which is pretty cool. They kind of look like snakes those other cousins. It's true. Excellent job. Did you guys get a chance to feel on their skin? Whoa, they're worth a really gentle try. Wow. Awesome job. Thanks for looking carefully at those guys. You're going to climb back in your car seat. Get a grip. I know, Ella's on the move. There we go, Tilly. She was quick. Oh man, oh man. He wanted to come and join the audience and watch the show as well. I'm sorry there, big guy. It's time for you to go back in your car seat. He's pretty nice though. All right, you can climb back in your car seat. See you later, dude. Great. And finally, let's check out Mr. Jake. Now, Jake, he can actually climb in slow motion. But you have to help him out. Please take your remote control and hit the slow motion button for him. It works in real time. Let's see. Here we go, my friends. Slow motion there, Jake. He's using his legs. He's pulling himself up. His belly is going to go over like a snake. Those back legs help to keep control and his tail follows all the way. Okay, somebody hit pause, didn't they? Red Rufus comes from Argentina and he's really, really nice. He's known as the Red Tegu Lizard. No, I really like these guys. He loves the walk and cruise and he'll eat lots of bugs and fruits and other tasty stuff you might find on the ground. He loves eating eggs. Eggs are delicious. Check it out. He's going to sit right across your muscles. He'll give you guys a lizard kiss there too. Uh-oh. Until he finds out who you are by using his cool tongue to say, Yep, you guys aren't my food. He's called a red tegu lizard. His name is Rufus. And he's really, really nice. Red Rufus loves the walk and cruise, and I like his scaly skin sometimes. It does. It feels like beads on his back, doesn't he? I know. Or little teeny pebbles, some people say also. He has lots of wrinkles in case he finds a lot of food. And I'll try to get him closer for a gentle look or even a couple touches, too. If you guys put your hands out, he might give you guys a kiss. He gave me a kiss. <laughs> Jeez Louise. That's why he finds out you guys are not lunch. Oh, of course he does have teeth, but he knows not to use his teeth on us because we are not his food. No way. We're going to get even bigger here, my friends. I have someone else who wants to come on out. His tongue doesn't stick out that far, my friend. Then I have some room to stick his tongue out. Wow. This guy is the monitor lizard in my show. I know his tail's really nice and long and it can give a whack. But dude, please don't pull on his cool tail. Just touch it gently, thanks. He feels kind of cool. I'll try to get him closer. In fact, I'll come cruising right around. My friends who are further back today. So if you guys have been waiting us that he won't try to eat us because we are not his lunch. Mr. Tuck, coming up and say hello to all these guys. Whoa. Mr. Tut. He's an African sulcata tortoise, and you know, he loves to eat and eat and eat and eat and poop.